Welcome back guys, Pinoy Bounce. And in this episode, I go through the digital aspects of collecting where we go through NBA Top Shot and we go through some of the moments and, and, and some of the collectors that I've met throughout my collecting journey. And my special guest for today is one that I met through Twitter. He go by the name of PlayStation and my boy Josh. How are you feeling, man? Well, I'm great. Glad to be here. So glad that we finally met because um, we've been talking through what the past two one month or so, talking about Top Shot, talking about the NFT space. But now I get to you know uh, not just ask about your story, but now we get to share to to our audiences and followers out there about your story. Tell me. How did you kind of discover Top Shot? Like, where did it came from? Who told it to you? How did you find out about it? Yeah, definitely. Um, it was one of my in real life friends that actually sent me a, a link. It was, I think, to a Forbes article in the end of February because uh, he knew I was into crypto and stuff. And so was he. Uh, as soon as I read the article, um, it was something about like LeBron Top Shot moment selling for 100000 and I'm like, I have to check this out. So I clicked on it and I realized it was like NFTs. Uh, didn't really know what an NFT at the time was. So uh, I read up on it and I joined like pretty much that night after reading. So I was de definitely went all in. <laughs> well, what was the um, what was the aspect of it that attracted you the most about it? Uh, what, you know, what made you decide, hey, like it, it was kind of a no brainer for me at this point? Yeah, it, it was definitely because I was a huge NBA fan, a uh, Raptor fan, but um, just kind of blew my mind that we could own a piece of like NBA history, like watching all these YouTube clips and then saying like we can own it since it's minted like on the blockchain. And since I knew about crypto, I knew what the blockchain was. And just knowing that I could own a moment, I was like definitely all in right there. I understood the concept right away. You joined a little bit uh, earlier than I did, but what was it like during that time that you joined in? What was the sentiment? Uh, how, like, how hard was it to get a pack? What was the demand like? Oh, geez. Yeah, those days were, were crazy. Like I joined around February 22nd. So like maybe a week or two before the actual like peak. So when I joined, like moments were like expensive, but every time I bought a moment, like I would be checking hourly and it would be going up like $100, $500. Wow. Some of the moments I bought were up over $1,000 after two days. Yeah. And I, I wish I knew what I knew now. I would have sold it at the peak, but I, <laughs> I held on a lot. But yeah, no. It was it was crazy. It was fun. It was exciting. Uh, pack drops were, were very hard. Like it was just pure chaos. Um, there was stress test packs. Like I we were I was just learning all. It was just overwhelming at the time, but it was really fun. I remember just be on my phone all day and be a top shot and reading <laughs> about it. Yeah, that's awesome. Like what was the um, what was the first moment that. Um, you eyed on or you purchased on and uh, how did that feel like for you? So um, I had to go since I was a Raptors fan. It was Kyle Lowry. I, I went for the Top Shot debut. Of course, they didn't have the badges at the time, but it was an MGLE. Um, yeah. I bought it for, it was $2,000 at the time. Yeah. <laughs> and I wow. actually bought it. I was like, the price didn't matter because, and then I bought it, but like not even a few days later, it was selling for like, almost four thousand dollars wow so like wow. prices were just skyrocketing it's like and we almost saw that yeah we never thought that the prices would come down we always thought like it's just <laughs> gonna keep going up. <laughs> but yeah i think like, we're all uh, in that I, space i think yeah like, we were all yeah, under that impression and that... i still own that moment until this day so like i'm holding that forever like i love kyle lowry so yeah I, I think for moments that we were gonna hold and we know it's gonna be something that's gonna be in our collection Sometimes right. like, hey, like the, the price volatility doesn't really affect us. And um, yes. it, at this point, like we're starting to see utilities in, in, in holding moments and having moments in our collection. So Exactly. Yeah. And I, I believe like I'm holding it because I, I don't, that, that's the peak so far. But I believe once they're out of beta and they're advertising, like it'll go higher. Otherwise, I would have sold by now, but I'm still holding all my Raptors moments. So yeah. Same as me, same as me. What was the first uh, pack that you ever pulled or uh, what was the first pack that you were able to snag? 
Yeah, um, it was actually like a stress test. Like I couldn't, I was missing out on so many packs. The only ones I got at the beginning were the stress test because I was active in the Discord. Uh, they would let you know like only five or 10 minutes before. So yeah. maybe like less than 50,000 people would join and they had, I think, 5,000 or 10,000 packs. So like that was your best shot at the time. So I would have Discord notifications no matter what I was doing. I would stop <laughs> and join the queue and just hope. And I did that many times, but I finally got a, a stress test pack. And like, yeah, I remember just opening my first pack and like the animations, like it was really good quality. Uh, I was I was so happy with my first pack. I don't even remember the moment since I've gotten so many packs <laughs> since then. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, I just remember being really excited uh, opening a pack. All right, Josh. Um, we've talked about the moments in your story, but I know that you have a lot of really cool moments in your collection. So here's a chance. I know I asked you to kind of give me a showcase of it, so you send it to me. Um, let's go through your, your all-time Raptors collection because I think you have a really cool collection that maybe you can kind of show us through and um, what made you decide to acquire it and what you thought of, uh, of these moments. There, that screen. Jeez, you got a couple of run-it-back moments here. So oh, yeah. that Chris Bosch, like, that's a must, right, for Raptors fans. Oh yeah, for sure. Like uh, he was uh, carrying the Raptors for a while, <laughs> and uh, but yeah, I just tried to. Um, I just started with like the main Raptors, of course, Kyle Lowry and, and that, and then all of a sudden, like I got all the Raptors players, and I just focused on the Top Shot debut badge, mm -hmm. um, and then. Uh, I, after I got all those, I'm like, oh, there's, uh, of course, I need the Vince Carter. And then I got Chris Bosch, and then I, Kawhi, and I kept going and going. And then I posted it to Reddit, I remember, like all my Raptors players, former Raptors, mm -hmm. anything. And then people are like, what about this guy or this guy? And then I'm like, oh, okay, good idea. And I started collecting them all, and it's it just grew. snowballing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Out of all of them, which one is uh, which one was the one that I know? Kyle Lowry was the very first one that meant a lot to yeah, you. That's right. Which one of the ones? I guess your favorite as a moment itself. So maybe we could show them how that moment looks. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's a it's a tough one, but I'll probably go with the Chris Bosh. Um, that moment, yeah, was during the uh, when he was on Miami. But yeah, it was a pretty exciting moment. Um, let's check it out like let's show some uh, some of our yeah, followers sure. and the audience sure. and how these works so these moments um they're not like digital kind of static moments these are actual um live moments itself so these are i think this is one of chris bosch's game winner right Jeez. that's right i remember yeah. this one this was quite a uh, i mean um this is when chris bosch was uh transitioning to become more of a uh that stretch four kind of player right Yes, so. yes, and uh, yeah, he has the pop off at the end as well. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> and that's a beautiful moment right there. That's one yeah, of the yeah. in the run it back set two series one, and I'm yes, excited yes. to have an opportunity to pull a run it back moment in the oh, run yeah. it back pack. I hope we are able to get a chance. Yeah, there's so many uh, great moments that can happen in the run it back, of course. Yeah, uh, like Kawhi Leonard, like the three bounces and uh, that moment. Uh, when it comes on Top Shot, it's going to be so popular. Yeah. Oh. Uh, that's probably the only one I'm really looking forward to. <laughs> yeah, to yeah. spend significant amount. And after that, I think I'm just going to go for packs and then flip packs and stuff. But yeah, like this is an awesome collection. And um, we're almost out of time. But uh, I want to thank you. Uh, let me just... Yeah, I want to thank you for coming through and sharing your Top Shot journey and collection. And um, any kind of last words you want to uh, say out there? Any you know shout out they want to give to you? Um, yeah, just a shout out to the Top Shot Raps crew, of course, on Twitter. Yeah, um, I think the Discord's open for any Raptors fans to apply, but definitely uh, check it out or me on Twitter at PreyStation. So yeah, it's a pleasure uh, talking to you and being here. Awesome. Thanks again, Josh. And I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Keep collecting. If you're interested about Top Shot, make sure that you kind of reach out to us at Pinoy Bounds. That's our main crew. And you can find me on Twitter at Top Shot Boy. That's where uh, most uh, you'll find me mostly trying to interact and really uh, find out the sentiment in the, in the market, in the marketplace in Top Shot. So thanks again, Josh. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And other than that, guys, I hope you guys stay balling. <laughs>